Digging deeper into Governor Cuomo's proposed state budget and the items attached to it that are kind of hidden inside it. Channel 2's Dave McKinley reports on some policies outlined in the spending plan that don't appear to do with money. As is typical, there's more than dollars and cents in the governor's budget. There's several policy initiatives that have nothing to do with spending. One proposes term limits for those elected to state office, including the governor, who could serve no more than eight years. Same for legislators like State Senator Chris Jacobs, who says this is long overdue. Uh, when you look at the multitude, I think over 20 uh, elected officials who have been either convicted or indicted on corruption, one common one of the few common strands of, of those 20 elected officials uh, is that they've been in office very uh, for a very, very long time. Implementing term limits would require a change in the state constitution by voters at a statewide referendum, but not until after the idea is first passed by two successively elected legislatures, meaning the first people that would have to approve term limits would be the legislators themselves yes. in the process. So how optimistic can you be that the very people who would be subject to term limits would say, OK, let's do it? I'm not saying it's not uh, it's not it's not a tough one. But you know what? We, we had a significant gain last year with the pension thing, which uh, was there was a lot of um, interest against that. Uh, you know, nothing is better than an idea whose time has come. Maybe maybe this might be the time. Other non-spending items in the budget include proposals by Cuomo to allow hotels that don't have restaurants to have mini bars in their rooms, banning even hands-free mobile phone use in cars by drivers under 18, and requiring all backseat passengers, even adults, to use seat belts. If you were unaware of these items in the budget, you are not alone. What do you think about that? First, I heard about it. I, I, I know that that is one I had not heard about. But that is not to say he's unaware that governors have made a practice of putting these items into their budgets. In fact, he is so aware of it that Jacob sponsored a bill that would end the practice by requiring that budget language specifically relate to appropriations or revenues. All right, so Dave, why does our governor put these non-spending <laughs> items in the budget? Well, you got to pass a budget, right? A lot of pressure to do that. And if you put this other stuff in it, um, you can kind of hold the budget hostage and get things through while avoiding the normal and sometimes lengthy legislative process. And some would say Painful. avoid some transparency <laughs> as well. Cuomo, you might remember, used this tactic to push the Common Core through I do a few years that, ago. Yeah. Remember, that controversial education policy was proffered as a budget item. And it sounds just like what's happening in Washington with the threatened shutdown. Not too far off, right? You know, the hang up there is isn't about the money in the appropriations bill. It is about the more controversial items that they lumped into it. Mm -hmm. It's the stuff about politics that people hate, yeah. you know, <laughs> stick to the issue, right legislation having to do with that. But all this other junk gets thrown in and clogs up the works. There you go. Do their job. All right, Dave, thank you.